it is San simply Sandra I am back it has been a minute I came on a while ago and did a video uh, on living life with Meneers and living life with no regrets so again it's simply Sandra um, as you can tell I am a very hyper person so living life with Meneers and having the personality that I have is kind of hard sometimes because I'm so energetic but as we know, most of us that have Meneers and have it severely, we know that that can be a downer because we can't just be our beautiful, simple selves. So I wanted to come on today to just talk about a medicine that my neurologist um, prescribed for me a couple of months ago and two supplements that I've added to my everyday use. So number one. I talked about in my first video how severe my Meniere's is or how severe the Meniere's is that I have that I've been diagnosed with. For one, I think I told you guys I have to wear um, an alert necklace and most people think it's because I have diabetes but it's not. It's because I had this inscribed on it, which you probably can't see, but I have an inscription on the back that tells them that I have Meniere's disease. Um, because a lot of times they think when I'm having an episode that I'm having a stroke because I have stroke-like symptoms. But anyway, so this medicine that I um, was given by my neurologist is, is an injection. So it's m -Galaty. The first doses you take two 120 milligram injections. You give them to yourself. You give them to your stomach and your thigh um, and your buttocks and your back of your arms. So when I got the first shot, I was like, okay, no side effects at all because I for me, most medicines that I've been given for pain, they cause side effects. But this caused no side effects for me. I'm not saying for everybody else, but for me, it didn't cause any, any side effects. The only thing that it did, which was a positive thing, was it makes me sleep. Like, it makes me rest better the first day or two that I get it. Which I'm sure is most pain medicines or a lot of pain medicines you take, they do cause you to get sleepy. But I got to tell you guys, since May or June that I've been giving myself this injection or my husband's been giving me this injection I can tell a difference listen it's not gonna cure Meniere's um, I'm not a doctor but what I am is a person that has suffered with Meniere's for a long time let me just say this if your migraines are severe to where they cause you to go into a Meniere's attack then if you haven't tried Emgality you should probably try it this is just me now Talk to your physician. I'm not a doctor. It worked for me. Um, I don't get as many flare-ups as I did. I still get some, but they're very, very minimum. You can feel it coming on. And the side effects, the, the thing that the, the, the most positive thing is, and this is what I hate about Meniere's too. I don't know if you guys are like this. It affects your speech. It affects how you think. And it affects how you pronounce certain things you want to pronounce because whatever it does to your or has done to my brain or does to your brain um you you're not really as focused as you would normally be because Meniere's cause you to be stressed and anxiety and sometimes depression but having taken getting this um injection giving myself this injection I gotta say again it has helped a lot um the other thing that I started doing because I did some research, I don't know if anybody has tried this, magnesium and melatonin. For me, because of the buzzing in my ear, um, it's so severe, it's starting to buzz now in my right ear. But when you hear it's so loud, you can't really rest. So if I take a magnesium, 500, I think I take 500 milligrams um, in the morning, and then I take a um, 5 milligram melatonin in the morning. And then mid-afternoon or evening I'll take another magnesium tablet and another melatonin so what that does for me I'm not saying you guys go and do this talk to your doctors but this is what it does for me I've noticed if I take that even like if I take it for a couple of days and miss a day the buzzing in my ear goes down I don't know if it's because I'm resting and I'm not anxious I am not um excited or I don't know what it is but I know I'm, I'm calm I'm more relaxed but it um, the buzzing is minimized 
I'm not saying that it's strictly from the magnesium or the melatonin, but what I am saying is when I take this on a regular basis, um, it works for me. I do when I get my blood work done, they do check my blood to make sure I don't have too much magnesium in my system so I don't take too much because you can't take too much magnesium. And again, before you take any supplements or any medicine of any kind, talk to your physician, your doctor. I'm just talking about what works for me. But I'm excited because suffering with Meniere's as long as I've been suffering with Meniere's, all of my hearing in my left ear is pretty much gone. I'm limited to driving. I'm limited to so much stuff that I can't do or couldn't do because of Meniere's. So it sets up depression, anxiety, and just stress, you worry because you don't want to be a burden on anybody. But because I am such a high energy person, melatonin, I'm probably saying it wrong, <laughs> but melatonin keeps me calm. It puts me in kind of a relax in between sleepy relax stage. And the magnesium does the same thing. Magnesium actually helps with headaches too. It does with me. But I just want to come on and show, share with you guys. I'm excited because I worked the last time was 2014. So here it is, 2021. And I found a neurologist after so many um, that actually came up with something that's working to help me some now. I still am not 100% um, stable. Um, I still am off balance and um, I have some of the things that go with Meniere's. But the positive thing, the plus to this is, if you see one neurologist, you gotta see it. I have seen probably 15. I've been to Emory. But things change all the time. So don't just stick with one physician, one ENT, one neurologist, um, one family practice, see or find out, talk to other people about who they see. Because there's somebody out there that doesn't know what the other person may know. Um, one other thing that I had done was, I don't know if any of you guys have had this, I had um, where they go into your ear that does the ringing, the one that you have that suffered with most of the ringing and the buzzing, where they did an injection inside of my left ear. So. They go in with a needle and they deaden your ear on the inside. And then they go back in with another needle and push the medicine in. So it's a bit uncomfortable, but my pain tolerance is really, really high. Um, so for me, that helped a little bit. The only problem I had with that was my ear felt full for a long time, which was way more uncomfortable than the ringing. So I really, I could deal more with, better with the ringing than the pressure from the medicine. Now, supposedly you're supposed to get this 24 hours after you have an episode, is what they explain. So, if you go in, you've had an episode, then they put the medicine in, it works better. Well, I was having an episode, but not a major one. So, maybe, I don't know if that's why it didn't work for me or not, but... It's not something I want to try again. So it may work for someone else. If you tried the injection in your ear, let me know how that worked for you, if you have. If you have not heard about it, speak to your ENT doctor and see if that's something that may work for you. Um, like I said, it did not work for me at all. But as of now, um, the emgality and taking the magnesium and the melatonin um, is giving me some relief. Um, I, I still got to say... I'm still not where I want to be. I wish, of course, I know we all wish this with Meniere's, that we could be more independent. And I know that that's coming. So um, it's, it's more of a talking to yourself every morning. Okay, you got this. I'm going to get up. I know my ear's ringing. But today's going to be a good day. Um, and you just got to make the best of it. Some days you can't make the best of it because you just don't feel like it. The most important thing about that is it's okay. And it was hard for me to accept that it's okay that I'm not okay or I don't feel, I don't feel good. Um, Meniere's doesn't have me. I've been diagnosed with Meniere's. Very severe case. So, again, I'm excited about those two medicines that I've talked to you guys about. Well, the supplements and then the injection. Please let me know if you've had the ear injection done. Which I said, that's not something I would do again. It didn't work for me. But if you have heard or if you're giving yourself the emgality 
injection for migraines and it worked, let me know how long you've been on it um, and what dosage you are on maybe. Um, I'm on 120. Um, I do think though, because of how my body is, it'll get used to something and then they'll have to change the dosage. But I'm just super excited that there's hope because of these things that may be small to someone else, to me, um, is not small. Um, it's huge because I get a little relief. So to me, I'm thinking if that, if this gives me a little relief, then there's hope. So um, we're doing a trial. We're going to see how I am when I go back next year in January um, and see what she thinks, if she needs to up the doses or not. But again, keep in mind migraines at bay. Of course, making sure you eat correctly um, is a plus. And I walk a little bit. Not a lot, but I do add a little exercising into my um, routine every other day, if not every day. That helps a lot too because it's taking your mind off of what you got going on in your ear. And then it's giving you a chance to get out of the house because I'm in the house 24-7 pretty much. 365 days a year but I'm making myself get up and do more stuff so I wanted to come back and just tell you guys this is one of my exciting days or my happy days or I feel good today um I just wanted to share with you guys there is hope don't give up I'm 50 years old I will be 51 in December and I've suffered with this all my life so I'm telling you guys we're going to keep fighting and there's going to be a cure to come out we're not going to give up um, chamomile tea. I mean, I think I said that one time before. You can never have too much tea or anything that's going to keep you calm or your brain cells, I guess I would say, relaxed. I'm probably not saying that the correct way, but you get my point. You just want to stay um, less stressed as possible, which is kind of hard when you're in a place where you can't do what you want to do. But we have to fight. We're going to win this. We're going to keep fighting. Um, because we're going to live life with no regret. We have to, because I promise you, if I've lived with it this long and then it took them this long or me to find someone that can find, um, something that works for me, it's gotta be something else that's going to come up again. Um, I think sometimes it's aggravating for me because of how it affects me on speaking and saying what I'm thinking. And I don't know, but it's just so many different things that that Meniere's effect that a lot of people don't know. So if you have other things that it affect, I know I have the, the quick drop on one leg on my right side to where my leg goes out. Um, but it's just a lot of things that it, that it affects. So again, I'm excited you guys about these medicines and these new things that I found. Um, I'm going to come back and talk to you guys again. Um, and then I'm going to try and do some videos on what I do um, on a day to day basis. With, you know, living life with veneers, um, some fun things. Don't want to make anybody any more depressed than they probably are, like myself. Um, the good part about it is, is um, we know that in order to get better, we got to think positive and we'll be better. We may not feel better, but the more you think positive, the more positive you're going to feel. That's just me. Um, and don't allow any negative spirits in your um, in your circle or around you because you're already dealing with enough, especially if you're dealing with Meniere's. So you want to stay as positive as possible. You want to do as much research as you can. Talk to people that have Meniere's. Connect with people that suffer from Meniere's and that's what I did as well. I've um, actually befriended a lot of people on Facebook. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited about this um, m Galaxy and the Magnesium and the Melatonin. So. Hey, you guys, I think you should try it, and um, I hope this video helps you. Please, if you have any questions about it, ask me. Again, I'm not a physician. I can just only tell you what it has done for me, um, and I, I really want to share it with you because I want everyone to feel good, and I know everyone wants to feel good or feel better. You know, we got to start somewhere. So this is a start. Thank you guys so much. Um, I'm not good on editing videos yet, so you're probably going to see me turn this off, <laughs> but um Thank you so much for your time and please ask me any questions or ask me a question, somebody. Um, um, I'm excited about this, um, the vitamin supplements and the m -Gality. So it's simply Sandra, living life with no regret, living life with my Thank you so much. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.